Hey, good morning, everybody. Good morning, Facebook. Good morning, Instagram. Um, this is what we call Maker Monday, and it's a time that we like to just take out and show you all the incredible projects that you can do to craft a more beautiful life using the products here at a Maker Studio. It's kind of a gloomy Monday. It's raining, but you know what? That makes it that much more fun to be inside and be creative and do projects. So this is one of my more favorite projects that I'm going to show you how to do today, and it's because I love rescuing, restoring, and redecorating. I love being able to take something that no one would use anymore and make it into something that has value, has a new life, and can be a great gift and can be a beautiful decor item in your home. So this is actually something that I took off of the bookcase out of my house this morning in my den to be able to come here and show you how to be able to recreate it yourself. So um, I cannot tell you how poignant this is for me this morning. Um, this quote that we have on one of our stencils of your life is your story, write well, edit often. Okay, didn't mean to start this. Um, just to let you know, um, those of you who know me, I'm very transparent with my life because you see my emotions on my face. It's really hard for me to hide them. And I have been with my parents this weekend. Some of you who know, my parents just celebrated their 75th wedding anniversary. And uh, we had to hospitalize my mother last night, and it's been a very difficult weekend. And so coming in here this morning to do Maker Monday, um, I'm so honored and so blessed to have people that are makers and people that follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Um, but when I read this, your life is your story, right? Well, edit often. I cannot tell you how poignant it was. And I thought, what an opportunity we have in every day to um, understand what our calling is and to live with purpose and to live with intention and how much more poignant to be able to do a project like this and to be able to give it to someone, to be able to have it in our home and to remind ourselves of this. So um, truly what I do and, and what, I, what I believe and what I do, I want, you, I want to share with you um, this is how I live and this is how I am. So I couldn't, um, I couldn't go through this project today without sharing that with you. Um, and to, to say that I covet your prayers for my mother and um, it's going to be a difficult journey um, and for my father as well. So thank you so much. Um, so the, the whole idea of being able to rescue and restore books and make them a beautiful project like this is so easy and it's a lot of fun. One, because I want you to be able to make things from something that somebody's thrown away or that's very inexpensive. Now, I usually, I will say this, I don't know that I have ever found books on the side of the road. You know, I'm a curbside shopper, but um, I've never found books on the side of the road, but I can find them at Goodwill and Habitat. And as a rule, if you go to an estate sale, there'll be boxes of them. It's best to get books on the last day because here's the deal. We don't care what the, what's in the book. This is definitely a book that we don't care what's in it, but um, it allows us to be able to have the surface that we're going to be able to paint. So go on the last day of the estate sale, get a box, load it up with the books, and they'll give it to you for hardly anything. Um, so we are going to be able to take the cover off like this. I prefer not to paint the cover. Now, other people have told me they like painting the covers because that way they like to switch it out and they don't want to mess up their John Grisham books. But I'm saying it's best. I like taking the cover off, um, and I'm going to put it aside because I like painting on the actual book. Yes. Is there a question? Okay, good. I'm good. Now, I will tell you, send me some love. If you're catching us live, we're coming to you from Memphis. We're Central Standard Time. It's 10 a.m. on Monday morning. Uh, send me some love. Let me, tell, let, let me know where you're from. And then it's a real opportunity. If you have questions, ask me. I have two beautiful people here that are videotaping. And uh, while you can watch these in perpetuity, and they will be on YouTube later, when you catch us live, it's a great opportunity for you to be able to ask questions, and I'm here to be able to answer them for you. There are no dumb questions. I say that all the time. We all learn from one another. So thank you for asking those in advance. So we are going to be painting the book, um, and that's going to allow us to be able to have the surface to put our quote on. So as we do, we put little bundles together for you, and this is one of our quote stencils, which has so many very powerful quotes on them that you can use for a lot of different things. 
So you get your stencil, you get your Rescue Restore paint, you get a dark gray chalk, I mean uh, ink, excuse me, gel ink, you get a sponge brush, and you also get a spreader. So I'm gonna take you through kind of what that looks like, but I'm gonna set these aside. And when you're working with brand new books like this, it's not necessary to clean them. As a rule, you know, I'll tell you, I want you to be able to clean a surface. It's not necessary when you're doing books because they're brand new, they're not dirty. Um, as a rule, we should be working with books that aren't dirty. That's why I'm taking the cover off. And then you wanna be able to just take your Rescue Restore paint and I'm gonna take the sponge brush, dip it in here. Now, when you're painting these, it, you do wanna do long, clean strokes, but it is going to probably take two coats when you're working on a darker color book like this. So I'll load it up. You always wanna paint into a wet edge and you can paint fairly quickly. So you see kind of what the first application is gonna look like. And then you're gonna work your way all the way around. Now as a rule, you want to uh, put on two thinner coats instead of one heavy coat. And then you'll open it up like this, work around, paint the binding, and then the edges. Now, I usually don't paint this part right here. I'll just let that stay the pages of the book. And I'm gonna set this aside because I already, it's like, um, it's like a cooking show. We already have some painted. So these have two coats on them. Now, the other thing that I want you to notice when you're painting books, they don't have to all be the same size, but you do wanna make sure um, that when you put them together, that you'll see this one is thicker, this one's thinner, but they're about the same size this way, so they'll sit together. So, um, but they don't all have to be the same thickness. I actually like to have some variation. Um, the other thing that you'll notice, look at the composition of how we laid out our actual quote. So let's look at the stencil really quickly. So see on this one, if you're gonna be doing that, your life is your story, write well, edit often. Look how we took that, but we laid that stencil that's actually on two lines all the way across, where it's on that first book. And then write well, here's in the center, and then edit often. See how it's off place. Now, everybody can do it. You can do it where it's all centered. I think it's interesting to be able to lay it off like this. I think the, the composition is more interesting and it balances. Part of the reason why on the stencil we did this in a bold type here, it's because it's darker, it's weightier, and it allows it to be able to uh, stand on its own. I love topography. This is topography. These are different fonts. So there's a script, uh, there's serif, sans serif, so it makes it a really beautiful um, t total image here to be able to have these. Now, there are those of you that have Etsy shops. Um, there are those of you that make things that you turn around and resell. I'm just gonna tell you, this is a great uh, gift to be able to give someone. Um, it's a great thing to be able to have in your home. That's why we say crafting a beautiful life. You could literally do all kinds of quotes on books and line up an entire bookcase and it'd be very, very powerful. You can do scripture verses on them. You can do words. You can, whatever you wanna say, using these old books, painting them, painting them different colors, having them where you do them in a baby's room. You might even have the date the child was born, the child's name, how much they weighed. All that can be on the edge of the book. So use your imagination and let's push that a little bit. But as we're learning how to be able to rescue and restore these books, be able to transform old books, know that they can be a beautiful decor item. It's a great class to get together. Um, it's just a great gift and something to enjoy in your home. So yes. Connie asked, do you glue the books together? Connie, I love that question. Um, the answer for me is no, I don't glue them together. Um, I have it to where um, I can literally separate them if I want to, but I will tell you, this is something that I did years ago. If you have someone who has a drill press, you can drill down through this and make a hole. Um, and we would have the, um, the metal is open, help me, help me, Jean. A threaded rod. A threaded rod, so you can take a threaded rod, drill down through here, put a threaded rod through it, come up, and then put a lampshade on top of it. This makes an adorable lamp. Is that awesome? Um, that was something that we used to do years ago with Amy Howard um, collection when I had my furniture line. So I think that would be a great project that y'all could make some beautiful lamps. 
uh, to be able to have in your home too. All right. So, love that question. So, I normally don't attach them. That's a personal preference. If you don't want them to move around, of course, you could just come in between um, and glue them, and then that way with some hot glue, and they'll stay together. All right, so here's my books after they've been painted. Now, you're going to notice one of the beautiful things of the Rescue Restore paint is that you've got this beautiful matte finish. It allows you to be able to finish it out if you want to. You can come back and do waxes on it. I prefer just this beautiful matte finish. I think it's beautiful. Um, and the great thing about it is you don't have to seal it if you don't want to. So laying your books there together, let's lay out what it's gonna say. All right, so you'll notice here how we said your life is your story. So I'm just gonna take my stencil. Now, you have a couple of options. On this particular stencil, can I get this let me see, I'm gonna have to, now here's a, here's a conundrum, so I wanna make sure you see. I'm gonna turn this around, because look at this. I wouldn't be able to use this stencil, the Y is too big, on this smaller book. So I'm gonna turn this around. The spine of this book is larger for me in order to be able to work on, and I'm gonna lay it like that. Just to be able to lay out the, with my composition. All right, so now I'm gonna take my next one, your story. I'm gonna cut this, I'm gonna be really careful. Now there's some of you, if you're just getting started at this, you might wanna just use on the, work with this all together. You don't have to cut it. And you can just use a blow dryer and it will dry very quickly. All right, I can tell. I should have brought my glasses. I'm gonna borrow this person's glasses that are sitting here. All right, so I like, I can actually put that down if I want to. I think I am, I'm gonna wait just a minute. All right, so now I've got my uh, gel ink. We are working with a dark gray. So you can look at this again, while my ribbon that I finished it off with is black, the writing itself is a dark gray. It's really kind of pretty. This graphite color I think looks really rich. You can use black. Of course, you can paint the books pink, different colors. You don't have to do them in white. I need to be really careful here. Set this down. Now, there again, remember, we're working with this mesh. You want to push this through. It's not just sitting on top. You want to push it through so it goes all the way. Now, I can tell I've got a little bit of an issue here. I wanna get a rag and I can just wipe it off. It's water-based, so it's not gonna be a problem. And it does dry fairly quickly. So that way I was able to get that little boo-boo off. I wanna make sure that it's nice and dry before I put my stencil down. Now, I would probably come back, hit this with a hair dryer, and then lay down my other two words, your story. Same thing again, that's what's so great about these stencils, being adhesive, and it takes so little of the ink to use. Now, the other thing is, please make sure that your books are nice and dry. You wanna make sure that they've cured, and it would probably be good to paint the books and let them dry overnight before you paint them, because that way you're pulling the adhesive. It could have a tendency to pull the paint. See how beautiful that is? See how easy that is? All right, so then I'll just finish out with my books this way and come back and put in right well. I like putting that in the center because of the composition. And this is a bold font. So see, I'm gonna center that. Look, I'm not, I haven't even loaded up any more ink, guys. This is still what's on there. I can tell right now I need to be able to lay this down with some tape. So I've got that protected. All right. I've got a little mess up that I've got to wipe off here. Yes, question. Question. If you mess up, 
with the ink on the stencil. Yes. Can you wipe all of it off before it dries to start over? Absolutely. It's water-based. And I'll be honest with you, that's what I probably need to do. I'm going to come back down here as far as edit often. I want it to be more compositionally. I want it to be on the end. Let's take a glance at this one more time. Can you see this where I'm going? Composition is important as you're laying these quotes in um, and especially when you're being able to come back and cut the, the stencils up. You don't have to do it all in the gray if you don't want to. If you've got the inks, you can mix the inks, make different colors. You can do ombre effect. Let's show them really quickly. Look at the board. Now this is working with the same stencil, but these are just different color inks that we have used. So you can create an ombre effect. So as far as laying this down, when you're laying your stencil down and you've got different colors, you'll just do it in little, little dollops. So here where we lay down the believe in your dreams, we do just a little dollop of pink, a little dollop of uh, our blue, green, and orange. Let it sit there and then scrape it off and you're gonna have a beautiful ombre effect. Look at another project that we did. This is just doing a washing, um, and you can go back on Facebook and you can see this where we've done other videos. You can thin the ink down and wash it on top of paper and it acts as a backdrop and then you can come back. We just use our gold chalk art on this one and did the entire quote. So this is just a rescued frame that we took and we painted with the Rescue Restore paint and did, um, did our chalk art and our gel ink as a wash. And then look at this, with the same grouping, the bundle that you have that we have today that has these three quotes, this is one where we used the gel ink on fabric. That's what the gel ink was originally developed for. I did it so it could be used on clothes, um, on especially on t-shirts and fabrics and pillows and upholstery, all those type things. So what an adorable gift uh, for you to be able to create with this stencil as far as letting your light shine. What a great thing to tell a child from the minute they're born um, that they need to be able to, to smile um, and to affirm others and let their light shine. So hopefully you see being able to rescue and restore books are inexpensive. You can get them for hardly anything. Painting them is easy. Just take the, uh, the sleeve off. We want to actually paint the books themselves and come back with the quote that you love. You, we can use our chalk art as well as our gel, gel inks. This particular bundle that we've put together for you is working with our gel inks. And then always finish them off. You see as far as if we just had the books sitting by themselves, but how much more beautiful to be able to finish them off with just a beautiful little grow grain bow. Um, and it makes it look that much more adorable. Let's play, I want you to experiment with doing ombre, play with different colors, play with doing the books in different colors, the letters. Um, the, your imagination is the only thing that's going to hinder you from doing this amazing. Please be sure and do hashtag a maker studio. Share with us your projects because that inspires us uh, to do better and to be able to be part of this beautiful community of makers. Have a fantastic week, everybody. Bye.